Kayak has received lots of backlash after his comments he made after his stage draw against Burnley. I think we are one of uh, the most dynamic and uh, entertaining uh, teams in the league in this moment. What is this, huh? By creating loads of chances, by playing good football, yeah, and we concede also. Uh, we have to to learn from it because it was unnecessary to lose the control. That game was a very disappointing game. We basically won that game, but we had to go and make a stupid mistake like we always do and give that game away. And as a Manchester, as a Manchester United fan, you know that this is not the first time this is happening. It's not the second. It's not the third. It always happened. We 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 hope we control a game to a good extent. You get a win, and then before you know it, something happens and the win goes away. And when they are comes in and say we are one of the best teams in the league that play the most dynamic and entertaining football, maybe when everybody is fit, last season we did that. But this season that's absolutely wrong because watching United play is really, really tough. There's no style of play, of course, because most of most players are being out of position. Too many injuries, so of course you can't expect a style of play. Um, but the football is everywhere. It's not really we don't get to see the team play the same kind of way over a long period of time because, for example, Maltomo is out injured. The, um, um, Casemiro is playing centre back. Um, Dalo is playing, and um, Bamsaka is playing at right back. Uh, we get a lot of players playing out of position. So of course there's no there's not going to be any symmetry. There's not going to be any flow. It's just going to be there. We, we Try as much as possible to play any, anyhow we can and get a, a a a win or a draw and that just so the football is terrible. I won't lie, the football is terrible. But of course, Tehan is coming under new ownership from of, of the club. What are you expecting to say? You're expecting to, expecting, to, expecting to say we play one of the worst football in the league. Um, it is very hard to watch United play. It's very hard to watch my team play. What are you expecting to say? It's going to be positive. We have new owners who might change the manager or or might keep him. So of course he has to come out and be very as positive as possible. He can't come out and start you know um training and um, insulting uh, the, the former people running the club or he can't come out and start insulting his players because we still have we still have games to go, you understand? So of course I would expect the have to come out publicly and be positive. Even though he knows what he's saying isn't really true. Because if he comes out to tomorrow and say and said I have, a sh- I have shit players. These players will not win me anything. Of course, it's going to be a bad signal to the Unions group. But as Unions are coming in and saying they are going to do a review of the club and everything, they are going to come in. Also, you know, in, in the public view, say the team is playing very well and it's just based on some, some of improvement and blah, 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 blah. And then in the back scene, in behind the scene, he, you know, he, he talks to these guys and be like, okay, these players are not really it, blah, 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 blah. But of course, they are expecting them to come out um, to come out and say anything negative about his team or the club, he's going to have to, he has to be positive. He has to be positive for the Ineos group. He has to be positive for everybody. And of course, I don't know. I don't know. It's 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 the situation we are we face now, and we just have to cope with it. But tell me in the comment section, what do you think about everything? Ask comments. And every, as as the season goes by, as the season is ending, it's really really tough to watch us play. I can't wait for the season to be over. Honestly, I just want to talk about transfer news. But of course, we can't talk about transfer news because the people who are to be running the club are not yet in. So any, any transfer news you are getting now is basically rumours. Because right now, right now, we don't know what the real transfer strategy is going to be. But as the season ends from next month, May, middle of May, we're going to, we're going to push on. Transfer news is going to make more sense and everything is going to be a lot more open for us. But let's see what happens. But tell me in the comment section below what do you think about Eric Ten Hag. And yes, um, Eric Ten Hag in or Eric Ten Hag out. It doesn't really matter what we think, but it is what it is. The, the, the decision is down to Ineos to keep or sack Eric Ten Hag.